Welcome. It's Sunday night skin treats. Yay. I am trying to get into this box. It's like Fort Knox or something. I'm afraid I'm going to have to rip the whole thing open. It's weird how it's made. The uh, custom slip was covering the perforated tab that you're supposed to pull up. And it's got some kind of packing tape over it even. I gotta plow through all this. Okay, there we go. Y'all come on in. I thought tonight would go over my look fantastic. And of course I have on all this makeup, which I gotta take off and do some skincare for you guys and I've got my phone here beside me where we can take a look at the products on their website and see what the this QR code where it leads us to hope y'all can hear me come on in let me know how the sound is let me Turn it up. <clears throat> I got another Hello Fresh card, so that's two now. Two that I need to give away. Plus, there's a code for some dog food at tails.com. It says one month of tailor-made kibble free plus 50% off wet food and treats. That sounds nice. I ordered Look Fantastic um, from the UK. And so they ship it, you know, overseas from the United Kingdom every month and it usually gets here around the second week of the month the month of december i wasn't charged i don't know why but then the charge showed up <coughs> um late and so i just received the bill the other day and it's got two months worth on the uh, credit card statement and but i've only got the one box so i'm gonna have to contact them and figure out what happened in December or have them reship to me. And, uh, you know, try to get that box. So, anyway. Y'all, come on in. Come on in. I'm a little bit early tonight. Here's something else that just came in the box that I just now saw. Um, it's called Trip. It's CBD infused premium uh, drinks, infused drinks, and there's a discount for it as well. Which I won't. I won't use this. I'm not really interested. And um, <clears throat> you know these type of drinks energy drinks uh you know cbd i don't use too many cbd products maybe a topical lotion every now and then but that's about it so this right here is i'm just going to throw this in the trash because i'm not interested all right it looks like we've got six products can't wait to get into it with you guys as soon as we get a few people on here we'll go into it so anyway, I was late posting the reminder on the community tab and I was hoping it wouldn't affect the attendance because y'all know I do this every single Sunday night just about and 
But anyway. So anyway, this, this box costs 13 British pounds, which when you convert that over into U.S. dollars, it usually winds up being about 16 or 17 dollars. It's not a bad box. It's got usually six products in it. There's self-care um, skin care, you know, sometimes there's uh, a makeup product or two. There's usually some coupons and all the products, you know, are, um, gathered from places over in the UK, which I'm, I'm always excited about it. So anyway, they have a, uh, expert team that does reviews. And so if you use this QR code on this card that they give to you, they have a beauty editor, uh, magazine and you can read up on all the products and of course all the articles that they have so it's really um, a good a good subscription of affordable subscription and uh, it's one of the most affordable ones that's out there right now so let me unplug this phone from the computer And I will look the QR codes up, the QR code up, and talk to you all about these products. It is getting so cold here, y'all. It's like 19 degrees right now here in Savannah. I've got the faucet dripping just in case the faucet in the bathroom. And I just want to make sure that, you know, our pipes don't freeze. So you have to let me know where you're coming in from and how is the weather where you're at? Are you cold? Are you staying warm? My legs are cold. I've got a blanket over my legs and I feel a draft on the floor. The floor is the floor is cold. But anyway, it's, I do have carpet and I do have on house slippers. So that helps. All right, let me pull this QR code up. So I have an iPhone and you just put your, uh, you open up your camera and you just wait till the little code pops up this message. It says open in Safari and then it just takes you right straight to it. And this is called the January edit box. So they've got like a 20 page booklet that just flips, you know, and you can flip through here and, you know, page by page. I mean, the, the contents, the contributors, you know, the topics of all the articles, everything. So I'm not sure if any of these ladies have regular columns in the beauty editor you know, the edit magazine. Anyway, there, it starts It starts after the contents. Well, you can't see it. But anyway, there's a picture of um, the box, which the box in the picture is green, but my, my box is purple this time. And it shows the products, like, displayed, which is cool. So, anyway, I'm just going to flip over to the first product. And it's... Well, Walita Skin Food, Rich Intensive Skin Care, Face and Body for Very Rough and Rough Skin, Certified Natural Natural Personal Care. And so this is a, a tube that weighs 0.34 fluid ounces or 10 mils. And it's valued at 2.99 pounds. So it's a moisturizer. It's for, you know, the hands, any kind of rough skin that you might have on your body. So let me open it up and show y'all what it looks like. Little, like, metallic tube. It smells good. 
It's an antioxidant-rich moisturizer. It helps protect the skin against environmental aggressors and can be used on the face, body, neck, and decollete area. Ideal for use during the winter, this formula is enriched with a blend of rosemary, sunflower seed oil, chamomile, and beeswax to intensely nourish and condition the skin. How to use it. Apply generously several times a day wherever your skin needs the extra help, especially on rough, dry areas like the hands, feet, and elbows. And it's suitable for vegetarians because it is vegan. So it's made in Germany. So that's really, you know, different and new and nice. So we might have to try that out tonight. We'll see. <coughs> Hey, Laura, how are you doing? Oh, I know. It's 19 degrees here in Savannah, Tennessee. Super cold. That's not even the low tonight either. It's going down into single digits this week. Crazy cold. I got my faucet running in the bathroom. <clears throat> All right. The next product is from Philip Kingsley. It's called the Maximizer. It's a root boosting spray to volumize. So you just like see how flat my hair is. It, it's really clean and shiny looking, but it's still kind of flat. So you just spray this into the roots and, you know, create some volume. So this is uh, 60 mils. Let's read about it. It's valued at 12 pounds. This multi-benefit spray has a high-performance formula that promotes visible volume to support fuller-looking hair. Enriched with hydrolyzed keratin, the heat-activated spray targets the root to encourage the appearance of stronger strands, while antioxidant protection helps shield the hair from environmental damage. Producing a residue-free finish, the texture spray helps to support your locks with shine and body. How to use it is to spray onto your roots for lift or throughout the lengths before styling for overall volume. You can spray onto damp or dry hair and blow dry for maximum volume. And it's cruelty free. That sounds wonderful. Normally I don't go for texture sprays. But this, since this targets the roots and it has keratin in it, you know, this may benefit me. And the fact that I don't have to, um, you know, I can use it on dry hair if I want to. So, but anyway, it's heat activated. So, you know, you have to still couple that with a blow dryer. So, I have to go through the routine Hey, 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 Paula, how are you doing? <clears throat> Just going through my look fantastic here. All right, the next product is from Dr. Lip. It's a superfood elderberry tint for lips, cheeks, and eyelids. It's a multi-use um, tint product. The outer packaging suggests that it's going to be like a cranberry red. I'm not sure. We'll have to open it up and see. Valued at 6.99 pounds. So the conversion, um, I'm not sure what today's conversion is. It's usually right around a dollar and 1.17 or something like that times, you know, a dollar and 17 cents for every pound, every UK pound. I'll have, I haven't checked it in a while, so I'll have to check that. But anyway, probably about seven, seven fifty, something like that. So anyway, it adds a subtle hint of ultra moisturizing color to your lips, cheeks, and eyelids with this multi-purpose tint and deep red shade of elderberry. So I was right about the shade. This tinted balm is made with four natural ingredients including edible plant-based pigments to target dryness with intense hydration and gets its subtle color from juicy elderberries. It's also powered by medical grade lanolin from free roaming Australian sheep's wool. Hmm. 
that's been refined and cleansed from environmental pollutants. Apply it directly to the lips and then the, add the excess to your cheeks or your eyelids. And this product is cru cruelty free. Huh, that's, that's unusual about the Australian sheep's wool. Medical grade lanolin from free roaming Australian sheep's wool. That's been refined and cleansed. That's that's a, this is a very interesting product to me. I like the fact that it's multi-use, you know, so that's really, really cool. It's supposed to be nine degrees, I think, Tuesday and eleven. I know the cold weather is insane this week. So I'm just trying to keep my feet covered and you know and stay warm. I've got a blanket on my legs right now. Hey Michelle, how are you doing? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Really bad weather here. More it's been windy, kind of windy here today. Sunny but windy and uh but really cold tonight. I've turned the faucet on to um you know avoid any pipes freezing hey melissa how are you doing you made it yay can you hear tonight can you can you hear the sound tonight the wind here has been non-stop 65 miles Whew. chilly willy okay so we're just going through my look fantastic and i've got pulled up on the website here the first product was a um, moisturizer by a company called Walita out of Germany. That's really nice. We're, we may just try that tonight. And then this is a root boosting spray from Philip Kingsley. I like this company. And it's a, it's a heat activated. So you spray it into your roots and, you know, blow dry and, you know, try to get some volume in your hair. And then the third product that we just went over was from Dr. Lip. It's a superfood elderberry tint. It's for the lips, the cheeks, and the eyes. And I'm looking forward to trying that out. That's I like I like products like this for those days when I'm wanting to use like just four or five things and just create a um, you know a quick makeup look. So this will come in handy. I've been doing that more lately. I don't know if you all have noticed, but in recent months I've done several videos on you know, five products, five minutes, you know, things like that, just to make life easier. Cause we're, you know, through the holiday season, we've all been so busy. And now that the holidays are over with, <clears throat> you know, I've kind of switched gears a little bit and I'm trying to focus more on skincare because my skin is so dry. And so I did a self-care Saturday video for yesterday. So you haven't got a chance to see that yet. And you want to make sure and uh, visit that. I'm shared some of my favorites and I'm sure you'll find it interesting okay the next product is is a gua sha stone a jade gua, gua sha stone from so eco I like this company y'all I've had several products from them including a balm that I use like on um, it's made out of natural ingredients and I put it I even put it on my pet so this looks like a really nice gua sha stone. So let's read about it. This gua sha facial and neck massage stone helps to alleviate muscle tension, aid lymphatic drainage and circulation, increase uh, product absorption for a more revitalized appearance, while the jade stone restores a sense of harmony and tranquility. If you're looking for beauty that's not just skin deep, this product will help you introduce, uh, will help you introduce Ayurvedic beauty. A-Y-U-R-V-E-D-I-C. Ayurvedic beauty. I'm not sure what that means. And holistic skincare into your self-care rituals to nourish your skin from the inside out. So I think most everybody has seen, you know, how to use this. It's got that really nice shape. You've got that 
little V right there in the middle, which you can catch your jawline and, you know, sculpt the, the face. Um, or you could go up and down the bridge of your nose. Then you've got these curves here where you can, you know, go across the cheeks. And anyway, it's just really, really versatile stone. I've got several of these in my collection already. So I may save this one and use it for a giveaway. Oh, you can hear you have the volume on. Yay! We're getting snow. We had a few flurries today. I think there might be a little bit of accumulation out there. Hey, Vonda, how are you? <coughs> you wish it would snow? Hey, Valerie, how you doing? Trying to stay warm. The uh, I put a blanket in front of the, the door, you know, where the door meets the carpet, just to keep out any draft. And I've got a blanket over my legs and I turned the heater up. But it is super cold here. It's like 19 degrees right now. And I turned on the faucet to catch, you know, let it drip and keep the pipes from freezing. So. All right. So the next product is from This Works. It's 10, 10 milliliters. It's a stress check mood manager it's a aromatherapy spray to create a cooling balanced atmosphere wherever you are i like to use these things like on my pillow right before i go to bed at night and i had one with lavender i don't know what i did with it i don't think i even used it all but anyway this is valued at 10 10 pounds this is a um, look fantastic it's a uk based um subscription service and so anyhow, I pay for it. Um, there's a conversion chart. Thank you for all the lovely hearts, everybody. That's so awesome. Hey, Vivi. Everybody loves my makeup look. That's awesome. Yeah, I went full glam today. There's a collab coming up later on this week um, over on Instagram. But I'm also going to post a video. Uh, not sure exactly what day that's going to go up. But the uh, collab goes up on Thursday. So I'm going to try to get the video up before then. Anyway, I just I just filmed it today. I haven't even had a chance to edit it yet. I'm cold. My husband is starting a fire. All right. Yes. Thank you, Sue Ellen. Hey, Tina. How are you doing? All right. So this is uh, a mood boosting spray from This Works. It says... Boosting a, boasting, let me read it correctly, boasting a 100% natural blend of pure essential oils, this fragrance spray helps to promote feelings of tranquility, working to relieve stress and alleviate low moods through aromatherapy. The fragrance features a super blend of Lang Yang, Neroli, and Patchouli, specially created using FMI, MRI brain imaging technology to relieve the feelings of stress. Just shake the bottle well and spray directly onto your clothes or your surroundings and skin. Inhale and take a moment to relax your jaw and shoulders before carrying on with your day. Not suitable for use on silk. So essential oils, you know, that would stain silk. But anyway, I like to use things like this to spray my pillow at night before I go to sleep. And uh, this is just a sample. It's 10 milliliters. And But if I like it, I can find it. That's the thing about these products. You can find them on the Look Fantastic website. If you like them, you can buy the full size. So anyway, we'll have to check that out and see, you know, if that's... It's, I like patchouli. Um, I believe I like Lang Wang and Neroli also. Those are like fragrances that I've experienced in my Scentbird perfumes. So I'm pretty sure that I'll like it. Okay, and then there is a variation between two nail products. And the one that I received was a nail hardener. It's a base coat. And it's from Nails Inc. And there's what that looks like. And I can really use this, y'all. I need something like this. So it's worth nine pounds. It's 14 milliliters. It's kind of got a light green color. 
The other option for this particular variation would have been um, a damaged nail recovery product. Um, it's a base coat and strengthen and treatment. Valued at 10, 10 pounds. So I'm happy with this one. I'm pretty sure I like it. Anyway, it's designed to harden the appearance of your nails. This nail strengthener promotes stronger looking nails in just one week. Suitable for brittle, damaged nails, the formula uses a blend of naturally nourishing ingredients, including biotin, kale, spinach, and mushrooms. No wonder it's green, y'all. All the kale and the spinach. To visibly harden and protect, added retinol enhances the treatment to promote a chip-proof finish. Apply two coats to clean nails twice weekly. It's vegan and cruelty-free. So that's cool, y'all. If you didn't want to use nail polish, you, you know, just put this on instead. Or you could probably wear this underneath nail polish even. But two coats, I like that. This bottle feels good in my hands, too, the way it's shaped. There's a curve. See the curve? There's a curve. All right. So a quick recap of the products. We got the Velveeta Moisturizer from Germany for those dry, dry places. Hey, Ruth, how you doing? There's the Root uh, Boosting Spray from Philip Kingsley. It's heat activated. I can't wait to try this. And then there's the um, Dr. Lip Superfood Elderberry Tint for lips, cheeks, and eyes. One of those multitasking type products that I love so much for those quick makeup looks. Then there was the Jade Stone, the Gua Sha Jade Stone from Soul Eco, which I love this company, y'all. And they're all about, you know, saving the earth. This is a cardboard box. So you're not going to see a lot of, like, wasteful type packaging with them. And let's see. And then I got the aromatherapy spray from This Works. It's called a Stress Check Mood Manager. <laughs> so it might help you relax at night when you're trying to go to bed. And then, last but not least, the Nail Hardener from Nail Ink. So, let's add all this up. We had nine pounds. <clears throat> and then we had ten pounds. That's 19 pounds. And then this is ten pounds. So that's 29 pounds. And this is $6.99. So we'll just call it seven. So 29 and seven is 36. And this is 12 pounds. So that's 48. And then the moisturizer. is $2.99. So we'll just count that as three. So uh, 51, 51 pounds. So I paid, I, it's, I paid 13 pounds, which is about 16 or 17 US dollars. And it's valued at 52 pounds. Let me check the conversion on this. <clears throat> So today the conversion is 1.27. So one, one pound equals $1.27. So let me do the math on that. 52 pounds times 1.27. 
So the box is equal to $66.04. And I paid about, it's about $16 or $17. So let's figure that out. 13 pounds times 1.27. $16.51. And then there's like a U.S. customs charge. It's not very much. It's usually less than 50 cents. So let's just call it 17 bucks. So I paid $17 and it's valued at 66. So not bad. And I got coupons too. There's one for some dog food from tails.com and then another coupon for HelloFresh. So that was my box. What did y'all think? Three degrees here in Colorado. Holy moly. So I do too, Ruth. I like those all-in-one eye, lips, cheek products for those quick, you know, makeup looks where I'll use like four or five products. <clears throat> And I create a five-minute makeup look. So that's a good, uh, you know, multitasker there. And I will definitely be using that in a makeup look soon. You guys got caught up in the polar vortex freeze that passed through. That must be what's happening here this week. Because it's going down to uh, seven degrees, I think, one night. Which is incredibly cold for Tennessee. So I've got the faucet on in the bathroom. Hopefully our pipes won't freeze. We've had a couple of cold nights like this before since we've lived in this house and everything's held up really, really nice. Yeah, if they'd gone to the Chiefs game last night, Tina, they would have, they'd have been hugging the hot chocolate or the coffee cups <laughs> just to try to keep their hands warm. So what do y'all think about this lip look? I created this lip look with the Lorella lip liner and then this uh, ColourPop um, lip product. I forgot what it's called. Anyway, it's, um, it's, it's it works like a liquid lipstick, but it, it, it wears like a lip stain. I mean, it just hardly fades at all. I've had this on um, since about... about four o'clock this afternoon. So I did make up for church today with the exception of the eyeshadow look and the lashes and the lip and this color lipstick. I had something, I didn't do any, I just had mascara. I didn't do any eyeshadow and I had on a different lippy, something more subtle. But anyway, I did this uh, eye look and this lips, you know, for a collab that's coming up on Thursday. So y'all be on the lookout for that. I will have a video to go with it. Uh, it's an Instagram collab. And the um, the video that I created to, to post also will probably come up um, maybe on Wednesday. I'm not sure. We'll see how it works out. The turnout for the game was low. Yeah. Whew. Sue Ellen says, nice box. I like the essential oil spray. I bet it smells lovely. Lang Lang can be aphrodisiac. Let's check it out, y'all. I want to see what it smells like. It smells good. I mean, it. you can smell the scent in the box when you open up the box. So let's just... Mm-hmm. So I like to use these like on my pillow, you know, right before I go to bed. Mm, that smells good. Yeah, it's very invigorating. It just makes you want to, you know, sniff it and more of it. Y'all, I'm ready to take this makeup off. I've had it on for several hours and these eyelashes. These are from Ace Butte. And they're, they fit so good as far as the curve of my eye is concerned. I did have to trim them down. But as you can see, you know, my eyes aren't as wide as some people's. And so this is about all that I need. So anyway, but they're, um, the curve is really, really nice.
Oh, 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 that glue is powerful. Whew. If y'all are looking for some good eyelash glue, the one from Lorella Cosmetics is awesome. And then the other one that I really, really like is from um, Duo. It's a quick, quick dry. It's, it's a quick dry formula. Both of them are quick drying formulas. I mean, you just, the stem that you, it's not really a brush. It's like a little, you know, like a stem. And you just kind of, you know, paint. You can control how much glue you put on there. And so you don't have to use like one of those little squeezy tubes, you know, where it squirts out way too much. And then you have to wait forever for it to dry. It's not like that at all. It's just you kind of paint it on with that stem. And it's just a really thin, uh, you know, light layer. And as long as you get the ends of your lash, you know, coated um, with an extra little dab, your lashes aren't going anywhere. Even if your eyes water. <coughs> oh, I bet, I bet the, I bet the prices were ridiculous. Beers were freezing in the cup holders. How could anybody drink beer in that kind of temperature? I'd be wanting something hot. It's pretty, Lori. Your lips look full. Thank you. This is uh, such a great formula. So anyway, in the video, when the video comes out on Wednesday, I do mention the name and th uh, the brand of the, this is a two lip product look. I got a lip liner from Lorella, and then I'm using a ColourPop um, lippy. It's like a liquid lipstick, really, is what it's like. I spray lavender on my pillows. Isn't that wonderful? Don't you just love that? Just having something to spray on your pillow so when you, you know, lay back, it's just going to envelop you. It just, you know, if you breathe easy. It reminds me, you know, when you had a cold when you were a kid and your mom like put some Vic Sav, you know, on your chest or whatever. It's kind of like that. It's just really comforting. I fall asleep to ASMR almost every night. I usually li listen to um, preaching or teaching videos. I love to do that late at night. A lot of people like ASMR. It annoys me for some reason. I agree, Ruth. Lavender helps me relax as well. Th that company, This Works, the one that, you know, sent me, that put this in the box. I've, I've had products from them before, you know, and one of them was lavender. I think it's, I think I still have a little bit of it. Anyway, I sprayed it on my pillow a bunch of times. Me and the dog enjoy it because she sleeps with me, you know. If they are, has to be pretty specific. And if they are noisy with mouth sounds, I can't listen to it at all. I know all that finger tapping and whispering and stuff. Uh -uh. I mean, it's okay, but I'm not going to go to sleep to it. I like paper moving and pencils. That's cool, Valerie. Yeah. You like soft talking, not really whispering or crinkling. I would want, would not want to hear chewing. Yeah, I agree. Oh, Paula, I'm sorry to hear that you've been sick. Take care, sweetheart. Get well soon.
So I didn't know what ASMR was for a long time either, Valerie. And uh, it's an acronym. It stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. And it's a term used to describe a tingling, static-like, or goose pumps sensation in response to specific triggering audio or visuals. So, you know, it's in, in the recent years, it's been shared on YouTube, ASMR, you know, whatever, whatever their genre is, you know. So, could be crisp sounds or slow movements or whispering or tapping or... some kind of personal attention, like someone even rubbing your feet or whatever, you know. Of course, they can't rub your feet when you're online, <laughs> you know, listening to it or watching it. I like unboxings in ASMR. I think that's kind of cool. I like the videos where they pour paint or visual art type ones. That would be fun. All right, y'all, I got to get this makeup off. I've had it on too long. My floor is cold, and so my feet are cold. So I'm not going to try to hold y'all up here too long tonight. But I wanted to come on and say hello and take my makeup off and share this box with you guys. I do not know what happened to my December box. It is still in transit. It's stuck somewhere. So I'm going to have to get in touch with Look Fantastic and, you know, let them know. I don't think that they follow through on... I, th I don't think companies follow through on their unboxings to make sure that they're delivered. I think they depend on us to let them know that we didn't receive it. All right, I'm just going to put this... My cellar water right here on my eye. Uh, I watched someone making candles for like an hour. This let me that reminds me, uh, Ruth. I saw a live stream once. I didn't watch the whole thing. I couldn't stand it. It was like the most boring thing I've ever seen in my whole life. It was a lady. She had a centerpiece of flowers. Uh, and they were artificial flowers. Anyway, they were sitting on the middle of her dining room table. And that's what the live stream was. And it played for like 24 hours. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are there people that are actually keeping this up, you know, and viewing it? It was, it, was, it just blew my mind. There's got to be some kind of movement or, you know, something has to be going on. I can't just sit and, and stare at something like that. I mean, it's just a inanimate object just sitting there. Yeah, it could, it could be. Um, the last time I checked on it, Ruth, they, it said that that uh, the label had been created, but it wasn't moving through the mail system. So I think it's stuck over in the UK. It hasn't even moved through their mail system yet. I need to check on it again. Usually Look Fantastic doesn't have uh, boxes that are held up. You know, so this is a rare thing. But it was the Christmas season. You know what I'm saying? There was no telling what kind of activity was going on from the UK to the United States through the holidays. I couldn't watch a centerpiece. I, I, I mean, I, I let it, you know, I played it for like five minutes. I was like, well, surely she's going to come on and, you know, talk to us or something. <laughs> it was crazy. Thank you, Tina. Thanks for popping in. Have a good night. Stay warm.
Oh, this feels so good, y'all. I used the uh, ColourPop Jelly Much shadow on my inner corner. And... Which is super fun and super pretty. But after a few hours, when it dries, it feels kind of dry and scratchy. You know? So it's not the kind of makeup that you would want to wear for like 16 hours. But it's fun. It's fun for, you know, like an evening or whatever. Hmm. So does everybody know Tina? She's a content creator. And uh, her latest video is of uh, the new Nomad palette. And she created a look. She shared swatches and everything. It's really a, a nice little video. Yes, stay warm. Stay warm. So anyway, this micellar water that I like to use, y'all, is from Garnier. And I use the one with the blue cap, which gets off waterproof makeup, which is, you know, the best thing for my eyes. And I mean, it cuts through foundation and all that stuff, you know, the layers of skincare. The concealers, you know, all powder, everything just gets it all off. Here comes an ad, y'all. I have bought makeup in a couple. I have, have been doing any nail polish spots lately. Did you mean to say I haven't bought makeup in a couple of months? I didn't spend too much through the holidays. My credit card bill was a lot lower than what it usually is. And uh, But I did make a purchase or two the other day. All right, I got to get this lipstick off. So you're into doing your nails a lot here lately, Ruth? I've been lazy with my nails, y'all. Other than cuticle creams and, you know, things like that, I really haven't been polishing them. I need to get back to doing it. Yeah, I thought that's what you meant to say. You haven't bought makeup lately, but just mostly nail polish. All right, say goodbye to the red lips. That looked like it was thick and heavy, but it wasn't. I mean, look, it's just like... The lip liner is where most of the pigment was. And the actual ColourPop lippy was, it was a unique formula. I forgot the name of it. Anyway, you'll see it in my video when it comes out later this week. Probably on Wednesday or Thursday. All right, there's that. So, what have y'all been doing today? This cold, wintry day. I had to arm wrestle this box, y'all, to get it open a while ago. We took our Christmas tree down, finally. <laughs> We're only about 10 days behind schedule doing it, but we got it down. Been staying in, trying to stay warm. Oh, I know. 
Okay, I've got a bottle of warm water here. I'm going to use a cleanser tonight, y'all. Everyone's been making comments in my self-care Saturday video about Murad products. So I thought I would go in with this Murad cleanser tonight. It's a AHA, BHA exfoliating cleanser. So it's a chemical exfoliant and it cleanses all at the same time. So I've got my bowl of water here on standby. Your Christmas tree came down Friday. Michelle, you've been staying in too? Yeah. Okay. I don't blame anybody for staying in when it's this cold. All right. I'm just going to like moisten my face. And then we're going to go in with this cleanser. So this cleanser is like, it looks like a pearl. Uh, see, there it is right there on the washcloth. And because it is a chemical exfoliant that's in it, you may feel some tingling on the skin after you rinse it off, you know, because the, the uh, product is going to continue to work down into the deep layers of the skin even after you rinse it off. So... It's really um, easy to use. Uh, you can use this like two to three times a week. And it just polishes away the um, dead, you know, dull skin, the dry skin. And it's it's not uh, a physical exfoliant with scrubbing particles. It's got salicylic acid and uh, lactic acid and glycolic acids that actually work together to get all that dead skin up. And so in the wintertime, especially right through this part of my face and underneath my chin, that is where I feel that need for exfoliation all the more. So it doesn't really foam up, but it does have a nice little slip to it. If you haven't used this before, it's a really nice product. It's a uh, 200 milliliters. So a tube like this, you know, lasts you quite a while. Even if it's the only one you're using and you use it every day. Church this morning, a little house cleaning this afternoon. Long talk with the sisters. That's so sweet. Valerie, I'm so excited about you and your sister's little booklet that patty was it patty that made it i think it was patty that made it i saw it on instagram where she was sharing pictures of all the pluses about you know having trip being a triplet and celebrating birthdays and stuff every year together it was so cute Friday was minus eight and it kept below zero until today. Today was the first day above zero. Oh my gosh. We went to church this morning as well. And then this afternoon, we had made a pot of beef stew yesterday in the crock pot. It was delish. Had some those yeast rolls that you can buy in the freezer section of the grocery store. We had some of those to go with it. And then I filmed a little. My husband went to bed about 4 o'clock. He's got to get up. He's working on his day off this week because he's getting ready to go out of state again next weekend for about five days in a row. So he traded his day off so that he wouldn't have to lose a personal day on Thursday. So he's working tomorrow, which means he has to get up at 1.30 in the morning. So he went ahead and went to bed while I was filming. And uh, then he'll leave after a while, about 2 a.m., to go to work. So he only had the one day off this weekend. Bless his heart. But he's going to have like five days off in a row, five or six, next week. So... We're trying to get ready for his trip, you know, getting some things done and 
setting things up for me, you know, while he's gone. It won't be so difficult, you know, for me while I'm alone. Well, I'm not alone. The Lord's with me, but you know what I mean. What a hairdo, huh? I didn't even put a headband on. Let me put a headband on real quick. Yeah, if you like, if you like a chuck roast, you know, that's what that's the cut of meat that we bought. And we just cut it up into chunks and floured it and seared it. And then we put it in a crock pot with some water and some onions and, you know. And it makes a really nice little gravy. And then after it cooks on high for two, three hours, then we add in all the vegetables, carrots and potatoes and celery and onions and stuff and, and cook it another couple hours. Hey, Joe, how are you doing? Okay, so my skin is feeling squeaky clean and I'm just going to let that dry. And again, this is a exfoliating but it says hydration as well so it's not gonna dry your skin out i mean you're still gonna need moisturizer and serum and all that but the ahas and the bhas that are in there the chemical exfoliants are not gonna over process your skin and cause your skin to you know feel real you know to cause more flakes you know it's just gonna help skin cell turnover that's what exfoliating does which I desperately need in the winter. You like this headband? It's, it's, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's got like lim lemons. It's like little lemons. It's like some green foliage and, and some lemons. It almost looks like yellow flowers, but they're lemons. So what have you been up to today, Joe? That feels good. Those of you, hey, listen, those of you that won a giveaway from me uh, during the month of December, I'm getting uh, all that together and I'm just running behind. But my goal is to get all of those packages mailed uh, before my husband leaves town this week. So he's leaving on Thursday. So I'm going to try to get all that together and mailed uh, Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. So anyway, if you're interested in a headband like this, Valerie, you can find them at a company called The Vintage. TheVintage.com. But I got this from BoxyCharm or Ipsy One because they sell them. You know, when you have a subscription, you can get things cheaper. Their mega drop shop sale this week, y'all. I hit it one day and uh, spit, spent some money. I can't go back. <laughs> Because that's when I spend too much. Man, this box, y'all, it smells awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to concentrate now on is just a little moisture. So I'm going in with this lovely serum that I just absolutely adore. It's from the Flannery. It's called Lily Bloom Hyaluronic Vivifying Serum. I am so stuck on this product, and I did order a couple more. And Allure was having a really great sale. And they had, you know, the box that this came in, uh, I think it was August or October 1. It, um, they're selling, they have more of those same boxes on sale for $19 on their website. And then they had the serum itself for $15. So I bought a box that has this in it. And then I bought one of these by itself. And then I got another product from Tarte because the reason why I bought the extra products is because Look Fantastic will charge you, I think it's $5.95 or $6.95 for shipping unless you spend $50. So I hate paying shipping, <laughs> you know, for $6.95, I can just almost get another product. So that's what I did. I just, you know, I bought some things that I liked. And just got backups of this serum. Because I love this serum so much, y'all. It is awesome. Uh, 
Hopefully my Beautylish lucky bag will be able to get here Wednesday. Cool. You had stew also? Isn't that just, it's a wonderful meal. I mean, you know, you can just eat, get a bowl of something and just, you know, casually. You don't have to have a fancy Sunday dinner where all these bowls and stuff fill the table. You can just get one bowl of stew right straight from the pot and, you know, watch TV or whatever. And eat. look at the glow. Y'all, this serum is amazing. I avoided the Mega Drop Shop. I know I'd spent way too much. I'm not going to even tell y'all how much I spent. I had fun though. <laughs> I had fun. I can't wait till it all comes in. All right. While that dries, I didn't know Beautylish had a bag. It sounds interesting. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to put on this uh, Bally Balm orange coconut lip balm. And it is so cold in the house that. In the wintertime, this is really thick. I made it with hamburger like my mama always did. Oh, yeah, that's a good economical way to do it. Our local grocery store had chuck roast on sale. <coughs> and I was just hungry for some beef. And so we bought, they had hamburger, uh, what was it? Three pound packages. And so we, we got some of that and we made a meatloaf and ate on it yesterday and made mashed potatoes and stuff and put the rest in the freezer. And I'll be eating on some of that while he's gone. And then we cooked the roast in, you know, chunks and made stew out of it. All right, I'm going to go in with this Caudalie eye cream. And we ate that today. And there's leftovers for tomorrow. Y'all like Caudalie? They have some nice products. We like to make um, stews and soups out of hamburger. And with, I mean, hamburger is so versatile. You can just do all kinds of stuff with it. Spaghetti, lasagna, casseroles. All right. Not too much eye cream tonight. Okay, and then I'm going to end it up with a moisturizer. And I'm going to use some more of this cuticle cream. I'm going to use this Sand and Sky again, y'all. I really like this. And, and it, it didn't take long to empty out this tube, I tell you. I need to get the full size. How much was the full size that you bought, Ruth? Anyway, it's called the Super Balance Mask, but it's... It, it works like a moisturizer. It's one of those like leave-on type products. You don't have to rinse it off or anything. They only do it in December. And you pay $75 for $150 high-end products. Or XL is $150 for $400 worth of high-end products. Best mystery box ever. Wow, that sounds awesome. I'll have to look for that. I didn't know about it either. I haven't really been scrolling on Instagram much lately. I've lost interest in Pinch Me since they issued, they rolled out their new program. And it's just, I feel like I'm kind of satisfied, you know, with where I'm at. I'm thinking about canceling a subscription or two and maybe putting another one or two like on every other month. My Javi coffee, I'm overrun since the weather's turned chilly. I've went back to drinking hot coffee and I'm overrun with Javi coffee right now. I still love it, 
But my husband, you know, he's been drinking coffee since it's cold, and he likes to drink hot coffee. So just to help him, you know, finish the pot or whatever. Anyway, I'm down to the end of this. I probably got another couple uses. I, I want to, I've enjoyed it. It was $39. Uh, that's full price. If I see it on the web, on the Ipsy website, I can feel that um, the AHAs and the BHAs working. I can feel it right around this part of my face. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm going to do on the skincare for tonight. <clears throat> but I like that Super Bounce mask. It works really good with other products. I've tried it with retinol. I've tried it with um, this BHA cleanser. I've tried it with, you know, the hyaluronic acid. I've tried, I tried it with several things. It's a 3.5 ounce tu tub, tube. That's good to know. Our moms could improvise a great meal on what was on hand. Oh, yeah. My mom could take, she could cook for, you know, several meals. And then, like, at the end of the week when you're ready to kind of clean out the refrigerator, she could take the leftovers, a little of this and a little of that, a little of this and a little of that, and make a pot of soup or whatever and stretch a book. That feels really dry still right there. Let me go back into that. That mask. Yeah, it doesn't take much. Y'all saw pretty much how sparingly I used it. I just took like little dabs. I'm going to get this spot down here. The moisturizer... Once you, you know, apply moisturizer, the itching from the BHAs and the AHAs pretty much comes to a halt. But up until that point, I mean, it's not anything that harms you or anything like that, but it can be a little bit um, irritating or annoying or uncomfortable, I could say. I mean, it's not like it's painful or anything, but anyway... It just means that it's working. It's down in there in those deeper layers of skin. It comes both in a tube or a tub. Oh, okay. I was thinking today, uh, just today, about how my mom would take leftover mashed potatoes and she would add egg and flour to it. And create kind of like a, not really a pancake batter, but it's thicker than that. But anyway, like a corn pone type thickness and um, or fried cornbread, if you know you want to word it like that. It's called corn pone here in the South. But anyway, um, and then just fry it, you know, fry it in a, in a skillet and make potato cakes. And they were just so yummy. I loved them. Have y'all ever done that? Has your mom ever made potato cakes? It's a great way to use up left, leftover mashed potatoes. Yeah, like a potato patty. Huh. Exactly. I don't know where she learned how to cook so good. My mom made the best food, y'all. I miss her cooking. When you're a kid, you know, you enjoy your mother's cooking. And you really don't stop and think that one day, you know, you're going to look back on all that good food and really miss it. You know, you kind of take her for granted a little bit. I usually do fried rice with leftovers. That's a great idea right there. I did that earlier this week I had some, we had made some chicken and rice and we ate, we just had some rice left over. And then I had some green beans left over and I had some, 
like a vegetable medley, like carrots and stuff in another bowl that was left over. I think there was a couple of snow peas in there or something like that. Anyway, I just put all that together and the flavor, the chicken flavor that was in the rice, you know, and it just made everything taste so good. And I, that's what I had for dinner that night. It was like a vegetable and rice dinner, no meat at all. So I was happy. I did hamburger steak with onions and gravy, rice, green beans, and cornbread. Oh, that's amazing, Joe. That sounds like an amazing Sunday meal. Woo! My mom taught me to cook as I was always hanging out in the kitchen with her. That's cool, Ruth. Hello, Miss Karma. How are you doing? <laughs> Good to see you tonight. How was your day? I forgot my water bottle, y'all. It's sitting right over there. <clears throat> you know, my mom did not really like me underfoot in the kitchen. I would have gladly stayed in there if she would have let me. But she most of the time would sit me in the dining room and have me working on another part of the meal that would help her but I wouldn't be like under her feet so I made a lot of salads um you know I would mix things for her you know like mix up the meatloaf or you know whatever I have you playing in the background and you're making me hungry well no doubt Melissa this let me tell you the conversation here in this group turns to food every now and then because, you know, we're, we all love to cook and eat and all that. I learned to cook because my mom hated cooking. Don't get me wrong. We always had food. She just didn't like to. I love to cook, so I took her over as soon as I was old enough. That's cool. That's cool, Joe, because, you know, I've known mothers and daughters to work together like that. Like, one would really enjoy cleaning or one really enjoyed cooking, you know, and they would just work together to kind of get things done. I've been busy plowed out of over a foot of snow. Holy moly. Oh, there's an ad. A foot of snow. I remember when I was a little girl walking to school. I was in kindergarten and my mom walked me to school. And I remember that snow being up to here. That's when I was a kindergartner. So it was probably like two feet of snow. And that was up in Detroit. I mean, there was a lot of snow up there. She made me sit on this step stool bench off to the side. I still hate peeling potatoes. <laughs> so necessary though, right? Peeling potatoes. Yeah, foot of snow. That's a lot of snow. I mean, if you if you try to make a snow angel in a foot of snow, you're going to get buried. <laughs> Laying down in that. You lay down and it's going to come over on top of you. Minus 30 something wind chill. Oh my gosh. It's 19 here with the light snow and I, I feel like it's old man winter. But the good thing about cold weather, y'all, is it kills the bugs. And here in Tennessee, we have such mild winters that every time it gets down this cold, even though it's uncomfortable to us, I just remind myself, you know, it's killing bugs. It's killing bugs. It's killing bugs. <laughs> the cold weather is killing bugs. Yeah, I imagine Tennessee does sound excellent. But let me tell you, it's it. This is cold for us. This last, uh, let's see, day before yesterday was it? Day before yesterday, it was fifty-four degrees. It was so nice. Uh, 
I got a really nice glow. I, I feel like I need a an oil. And I don't have one sitting here. You ever do your routine and you just feel like you need more? I just feel like I need an oil. Let me let me look in a box or two close by and see if I can <coughs> locate one. There's the Gold Fadden Wake Up Call. It's an overnight uh, regenerative facial treatment. But I don't want to put that on because I did use that BHA and AHA cleanser. And I don't know how they would play well together. I love Tennessee. My brother was stationed there. It is a wonderful place to live. It's, I mean, we have, you know, lots of things to do here. Lots of sightseeing. There's, you know, beautiful mountains and streams and rivers and, you know, really nice cities like Nashville and Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg and you know, Memphis. We loved snow as a kid, too, Valerie. We would go outside and play for two or three hours at a time, go sledding, build snowmen, play with our friends. And we would just like turn into popsicles and we'd come in the house, take off all those wet mittens and clothes and our snow, you know, pants or whatever we had on and um, drink some hot chocolate, eat a bite of lunch or whatever. Mama would fix us some tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches. And um, then we'd get dressed in some warm clothes, some dry clothes and go back out and do it all over again. <laughs> it's like we couldn't get enough. But we would pile up on those sleds two or three at a time to make the sled go faster. Just have a ball. We had a ball, me and my two sisters. See, I have two sisters too, Valerie. We were uh, 13 months apart. Not not as close as you and, and your sisters are, but... Close enough to, I could identify with Patty's post, you know, about sharing the clothes and, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, the bugs. The bugs. The bugs need to die. Die, die, die. I've got several boxes close by me within arm's reach. I'm just looking through them <coughs> to see if there's a facial oil or, you know. Some kind of product like that that I can use on top of what I've already done. Yeah, tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwich together. That's awesome. And it warms the tummy and it's just so easy to prepare, you know. And it's uh, and the two together fill you up a lot better than 
you know, just one, one item. So it's just a really good solid lunch. Well, y'all, I went through like three or four boxes and so far no facial oils. It seems like one of these boxes through here would have sent us a facial oil for the winter. Usually every year I get a facial oil from, you know, some subscription. Now watch, now that I've said that, I'll probably get something this week. <laughs> Yeah, you just, it's like, you don't care. You just, you're having so much fun sledding that you just, you know, you're willing to suffer a little bit. And then when you can't feel your toes anymore, that's when you go in the house. <laughs> you're on the verge of frostbite or something, you know? I have one sister, three brothers. At one time, I also had three stepbrothers. Wow. I can imagine you being the only girl among all those boys. Y'all, I'm striking out left and right. This bag right here is cold. What was the brand of the cuticle cream? It was, um, here, I'll, it's Palme. I think, let me pull it out here. This cuticle cream, yeah, here it is right here. Palme. It's an all-in-one it's called All-in-One Cuticle and Nail Cream. Let me read where it's from. I, it's overseas. But anyway, it's... Um, mypalme.com so my palme com. there's the website it's not a link but um, you know you can just put that in your google search bar and it'll pull it up Anyway, you're welcome. This is really good, really good cuticle cream. So anyway, after after you use it, like say I used it yesterday, and then this morning I was able to like push my cuticles back all the way and like trim off any excess skin or hangnails or whatever that we're trying to perform. You know, and my nail, look at my nails, y'all. It's like I've been to see a manicurist. I mean... And my nails are shiny and just, it's really good cream. It's better than any cuticle oil I've ever used. I will say that. <clears throat> Hyaluronic acid. The toner. What is this? A cleanser. And, and I've got several mascaras that I'm going to be testing out. That's a highlighter. Nope. No facial oils. 
and usually if I'm sitting over there, you know, I have one right at my fingertips, but not over here. Oh, well, I have to let it go for now anyway. But my skin feels, it feels warm. I can feel the warmth right here on my cheeks and not above my eyes here on my forehead. So, you know, I can feel this working. This AHA, BHA cleanser from Murad. It's really, really nice. Yeah. Well, you know, it was just a, uh, when was it? Two, three months before. Uh, ago that I started filming over here in this area for Sunday night skin treats because it really doesn't matter what angle I'm sitting in at nighttime because you know I'm not really looking for the daylight to shine in on me so I liked you know just a change of atmosphere <clears throat> something you know different for y'all to look at behind me and uh, the other spot where I sit in front of the window over there in that room you know, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of piled up because we're trying to clean. <laughs> we're trying to purge out that back room to make room for all my stuff. And uh, y'all, I had somebody comment on uh, one of my videos, someone that's not even a subscriber or anyone that's ever really came to um, my channel on a regular basis or anything. This is the first time I'd ever heard seen them or heard from them and the comment was are you a hoarder oh my gosh i'm like it's getting so bad that strangers are coming on my channel asking me if i'm a hoarder because i live in a very small house and i don't have a lot of space but i had a, I have a lot of um you know there's a lot of beauty products in the house because of the subscriptions and you know i've been doing this like six or seven years now and I give a lot of stuff away but I still have a lot of product so but anyway I deleted the comment y'all it was really it was embarrassing I'll just be honest with you it was embarrassing I was like this is really bad when a stranger comes on and says something like that I mean, they may be attracted to the video because of the thumbnail and the title, but once they got in there and they started, you know, watching the video, you know, the junk that sits behind me may have been too much for them. <laughs> it overwhelmed them to look at it, probably. But anywho... We're going to get it done, y'all. Little by little, we're going to get it done. <clears throat> that was rude. It really was. It was rude. But still, it was true, you know, in a way, because that's what it looks like. I mean, I've got so many things piled up. I look like a hoarder. Yeah, we're not supposed to judge people. It'd be nice to watch a video without all the junk go behind me. So, anyhow, I want to do better. I want to I want to make my videos better. I want to attract people to my channel and not repel them with all my stuff. <laughs> so, anyway. Thank y'all for listening to that. <laughs> I just needed to share that with somebody. Hey Jen, how you doing? It's good to see you, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. Sub boxes do pile up. See, and that's another reason why I want to cut back on a couple of subscriptions and put some things on every other month, you know? I mean, it's great content. You know, I love to get on here and share it. Like tonight, you know, I shared an unboxing. We discovered some really nice products together, and I can't wait to use a couple of them. And, um... Of course, one or two of them is probably going to go in a giveaway. But, I mean, that's the nature of the beast, right? So, yes, we're going to get it done. 
I'm trying to encourage my husband to work on it and help me, you know, on his day off. But it's there's so many demands on his time, you know, and I can't do it by myself because I can't lift all those heavy boxes. I think I may drop boxy as the February spoilers didn't look great either. Now, you know, as soon as they as you drop it, you're going to be wanting to buy something in their sales. I get FOMO just thinking about it. <laughs> Y'all know what FOMO is, don't you? The fear of missing out. I live in a studio and my room looks disaster. Mm. Wow. that That's hard. Well, we have, it's a small house. It's a living room, dining room, bathroom, and then in the kitchen and the main bedroom. And then in the back, there's another small bedroom, which is what I want to turn into my uh, filming room. And then off from that is the utility room. And that's all there is to this house, which would be probably plenty of room for most people if they didn't, you know, accumulate things. But we don't have a, a shed. So there's a lot of stuff that's in the utility room besides the washer and dryer and the deep freeze. You know, we have to keep, um, you know, like our brooms and dustpan and jars from canning things. And th there's just a lot of stuff. We just have a lot of stuff. It's crazy. When you're in your 60s and you've, you know, set in one place for a while, you accumulate things. We've been here in this house for about 10 years, you know, and our landlord is so good to us. He's never gone up on the rent. And it's cheap. Lori, I have my stuff, some of my mom's stuff from when she downsized and her late husband's items, plus boxes and bags to video. Yeah. No judgment here. Thank you, Karma. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm not, I don't have a mental disorder. You know, when I think of a hoarder, I think of someone who's got, um, you know, an obsessive compulsive mental disorder. Someone who just cannot... I mean, just things that don't need to be saved. They want to save it. You know, they just... You've seen the videos. Like on a and &E. I downsized as we no longer needed a big house once my daughter left. This is probably this one of the smallest places that we've ever lived in. We've always lived in bigger places, like with three or four bedrooms and a living room and a den and the kitchen and a dining room and and a, like a breakfast nook. And, you know, my husband would have a, an office and, you know, two, three bathrooms and a utility room and, you know, a patio and just, you know, really nice places. We've lived in really nice places. But when we moved here... <coughs> We came out of being uh, a, pa uh, a pastorate. We were pastor in a church. And uh, we came out from that, that job, that ministry position. And at the time, my husband didn't have a job and neither did I. And so, you know, all we had was what, we, you know, what little bit was in the bank. So we had to find someplace that was very, very affordable and once we got here and we got settled, I just did not, have not had the desire to, to move again. I'm, I'm sick of moving. You have a three-bedroom house? You're in no way a hoarder. If you were, you'd have every square inch covered up. Well, I probably have half of the square inches cut covered up. And there are some corners in my house that are, you know, piled up. And if you see behind me, I've got boxes and Christmas presents and stuff right there that I need to clean off the couch. We moved from a seven bedroom to a three bedroom. It was too much house. Oh, yeah, it's hard to clean. It is hard to, you know, 
like, and it, we had a storage unit. So when we moved, you know, we just left what we had in the storage unit. And it was a couple more years before we got everything out of storage. And by that time, we had paid more for the storage than what the stuff was that was in it was worth. <laughs> Y'all don't do that. Don't do what we did. So anyway, it's just kind of crazy. Life is crazy. Life is crazy, y'all. I'm going to do a giveaway and get off of here. And that way, <clears throat> y'all can get some rest. It's after 10 o'clock. And my feet are cold. So anyway, if you want to enter into tonight's mask giveaway, I, I usually mail out four masks to one winner. And I usually put a coupon card or, you know, a bookmark or, you know, a little something extra in there. I've got Hello Fresh cards tonight. I also have a card from Tails.com. So if you're the winner, you can pick one of these and I'll drop it in the envelope along with the four masks. And so anyway, they're sheet masks. Two of them will be from Facetory. So anyway, type me in the comments if you're interested and we'll get this going. Our house is small. I am always bagging up a few things to give to a thrift store. I know it's just like constant. Yes, I bought a house in 2020. I have that much to declutter. Most of my trinkets are going. Family things are more important. I've, I have to cover my eyes, y'all. My, my husband gets to cleaning. I just, I can't bear to look. If I go through the stuff that, you know, the boxes that he's hauling out the house, I'll keep half of it, you know, and that discourages him. And I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? So I just have to let it go. He said, you haven't looked at that stuff in forever. You do not need it. That's his theory. And it's probably true. And I, there's probably a lot of sentimental things that have gone out the door. But if it was left up to me, hardly nothing would get tossed out. Okay, let's see. We have Jen. Sue Ellen, Ruth, Valerie, are you leaving, Melissa? Have a good evening. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> Me too, Karma. Whenever something new comes in, I need to get rid of something, let something go. Let that be like a rule of thumb. <clears throat> okay, I have five entries. Anybody else? I wonder how Sylvia is doing tonight, y'all. Oh, I've got four entries. Anybody else? You're att attached to your Nikes and your makeup. <laughs> I gave away, yeah, stuff I haven't used in a year. I got you. All right. There, I'm showing seven in the chat. But I've only got um, four entries. So let's see. Karma, are you going to get in on this giveaway or are you going to pass? Um, just type the word me in the comments. And then if you're the winner, I'll get your name and address over on Instagram. I believe you follow me on Instagram. Is that correct? I believe we're connected on Instagram. Hmm. 
All right. So anyway, when that's how I, you know, that's one of my rules as I just require everyone to follow me on Instagram. And uh, then, of course, if you're the winner, you know, you can send me your, your your mailing information, you know, your first and your last name and your address in a DM over on Instagram. Okay, there's probably a couple people that are on here that are listening that just haven't really made any comments tonight, so they're not really making themselves known. All right, look, we've got our drum roll. So here's my little scentbird bag. I dropped all the entries in here, so ta ta da ta da ta ta Give me a drum roll, Ruth. We're looking at Ruth. Ruth is on the ball. Woohoo! For me, it's my art supplies and coloring books. Well, we all have those hobbies, you know? Mine's all the makeup and skincare. Ah, look here. It's Karma. Karma, you are the winner tonight. How about that? How about that? Beginner's luck. Yeah, I like to chat with people, and it helps. It does. It helps out the channel, you know, so I like to do these every week, and, you know, just the community, just that sense of community. So congratulations, Karma. I am going to be pulling together um, the products and put putting everything into mailer envelopes to mail out um, in the next two or three days sometime. And so anyway, if you will DM me, right away you know either tonight or just sometime tomorrow where i can you know have your address and everything then i will i will get once i mail it out i, I will take a picture of the tracking information and i you know send you the picture in a dm back so congratulations congrats Yeah, stay to the end of my live. I don't want I don't want you to leave the live just to go do that. Um, what I do need from you right now though is to let me know if you want one of these coupons. I have the HelloFresh one, and then I have the one from Tails.com where you can buy, you know, pet food. It's like a subscription for pet food. So anyway, if you want either one of those, just let me know. You can have one of your choice. What did you win? You won four sheet masks and I uh, always send a bookmarker, you know, with a little thank you card. And then if you want one of these coupons, you can choose one of these coupons. So it's up to you, you know, if you want one of the coupons or not. And I, it won't hurt my feelings if, you, if you're not interested. It's, it's one of the, it's where they introduce you to the, you know, HelloFresh. You don't have any pets? Okay. You're welcome. I just, I like to channel that stuff and I don't like throwing all that stuff away if there's somebody out there that, could use them or, you know, wants to try stuff, you know, whatever. I'm not trying to push anything on anybody. 
I'm just, I'm just a hoarder. I don't like to throw stuff away. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, y'all. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I said that about myself. <clears throat> oh, whatever, whatever. You get the hell out. I know if you ever do it, like one time, if you ever, you know, which we did. We did it for several, several weeks. I did it for about, I don't know, two or three months, something like that. And I love their food. I love the way it's pre-portioned. I love the recipes, you know. Um, we just loved it. The only thing about HelloFresh is that, that if you want seconds, you know, you can never have it. And if so, if you're, you know, if, if your family, if you want to be congenial, you know, with your family and have plenty on hand where if somebody wants, you know, another spoon of potatoes or whatever on their plate, you know, or an extra pork chop or whatever, you, you can give it to them, you know, and let them leave the table, not just barely satisfied, but, you know, feeling good and full. And that's the only, that's the only reason why I canceled out on it. So, but it does help, you know, and it saves time at the grocery store. You know, we did it uh, three nights a week and then I supplemented, you know, those meals with food from the grocery store for the other three or four days. And we, one day a week, we usually have either soup or sandwich or soup and sandwich, you know, and we just try to, or we'll go out and just grab something, take out, you know, and just take a break, you know, from cooking. And so, we'll, or we'll have a hot dog night, you know, or just something like that. Just take, I'll warm up a frozen pizza, you know, we just have like a, like a snack night, not really a snack, but you know, one of those easy meals. Yeah, right. There's no leftovers. So if your family doesn't enjoy eating anything that's left over and all they really want is just a portion, you know, with nothing extra for seconds or anything like that, it, it's, it's really, it's a great way to cut back on, you know, the extra food. You know, like if you're trying to count your calories or, um, you know, eat in a more healthy or disciplined way because the meals are balanced. You know, it's really, it's really a nice program. <clears throat> if you are a hoarder, then I am as well. My place is small with no storage. Yeah, I could, I could show y'all, you know, some, I have an amwa, which is like an entertainment center. You can use it as an amwa for a bedroom and put a TV in it. It's got some drawers, you know, down here. But anyway, it's a whole, it's a cabinet that's full of skincare. And then I have makeup. I have those plastic tubs that have the lids on them. I have, you know, a bunch of those that are full of makeup. You know, I have quite a bit of product in the house. Lori, have you been making videos for six years on YouTube? Yeah, six or seven. I started in 2017. Yeah, if you go back and you look at some of my older videos, oh my gosh. It's like, I did not have a ring light. I did not have a flattering, I didn't have a tripod. So the camera wasn't at a flattering angle. Um, what else? I didn't know how to edit. <laughs> some of the pictures that are on the, the thumbnails on those older videos, you know, I didn't know how to uh, do a quick makeup look back then. You know, it's just crazy. I didn't know how to even insert a link into a video. I mean, I was just green as a gourd. Your other dogs were in some of the older videos. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. We need to blow up her chat. Get your content out there. 
Yeah, I have um, inspired. I will say this, Karma, that I have inspired a lot of people that were viewing to become content creators themselves. And so, you know, that's one of the reasons why my channel really hasn't blowed up, you know, like some of the other content creators, because it's like I'm having babies, you know what I mean? And, uh, but then the, there's drawbacks, other drawbacks too, you know, comp it's a very competitive, um, you know, the beauty, the beauty industry and the beauty, you know, creators that are out there on YouTube, there's, you know, there's so, so many of them. And, uh, you know, people are looking for somebody that's, um, you know, got a really nice clean cut background that someone that knows how to edit their videos and make them really entertaining. They are looking for someone who's upbeat and perky and speaks fast. And I'm none of that stuff. You know, I'm none of that stuff. I'm slower. I'm more laid back. I have junk in my house and, you know, Yep, we got Emily to show her face. I mean, and that Ruth, that has happened to so many people. So many people I have been a part of inspiring them to, you know, they're, they look at me and they think, wow, if she can do this, I can do this, you know, and it inspires them to create. And I'm okay with that. You know, I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, was inspired. And now Erlene. Erlene's another one that just recently started creating content. <coughs> There's been a bunch, Ruth, over the years. And my channel's gone through uh, several evolutions. Like back when the group, the community that was around me that first year or two, um, a lot of things happened to different ones. One of them had a flood in their house and another one had a, a fire in their house and another one's, um, you know, moved and another one got married and, and another one, you know, I don't know, just all kinds of stuff, you know, all kinds of stuff happens. And so, you know, as people's lives evolve and move and they move on from YouTube, you know, and you're continuing with YouTube, you don't have that community around you, you know, all the people that were that were there. And, you know, and then the ones that do get inspired and start their own channel, you know, YouTube is all consuming. So, you know, you get caught, they get caught up in, you know, creating their own content, answering their comments, editing their own videos, and they don't have as much time to devote to watching you, you know. And so you lose, um, you know, the view time hours because of all of that. So, you know, that's life. That's life. So, but anyway, I just, try, I try to evolve with, you know, the things that happen on YouTube. I try to stay in touch with, um, some of my older friends and I have, um, you know, I have opportunities to collab with different channels still. And I enjoy that a whole lot. There's a lot of faces I miss seeing that used to watch you. Yes, that's true. That's true. You know. So, and then people prioritize, you know. They prioritize, you know, but the time that they have on how much time that you can only watch so many YouTube videos before you're falling asleep. You know, when I first started watching YouTube, I'd watch them all day long, every day. And after a year or two of doing that, you know, of course, I started creating my own content, but I was still trying to watch videos, you know, but it got so, um, 
I wasn't getting anything else done. <laughs> I was a YouTube fanatic. You know, I wasn't getting things done like I needed to get done. So, you know, I had to. Uh, and then at some point, once you become monetized and everything, you know, before you become monetized, it's like view for view. You know, you try to your friends that are around you, you know, are trying to support you while you're supporting them. And then once you become monetized, then you can kind of relax a little because you've, you know, you've got, you've reached that goal. And now your channel just needs to stand on its own two feet, you know, and you can't really, you know, spend the time, you know, after you get a thousand subscribers, you, you can't really spend the time watching all the people that you subscribe to anymore. You just can't do it. It's, 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 it's too, um, it's too much, too much. So, you know, so when someone starts a channel that's been inspired by me, I try to watch a few of their videos at the beginning to kind of help jumpstart them. And, <clears throat> you know, I encourage them along and, I'll watch a video every now and then, you know, and kind of rotate myself around. And then once they get up to where they're, they've got like five or 600 subscribers, I'll maybe do a collab with them or something, you know, and Hey, Melanie, how you doing? You know, and encourage them, their channel, you know, you know, just kind of prod them along a little bit more and help them out. And, you know, and it's, we're not doing a, a giveaway or anything, so they're not really taking, you know, they're, it's not about them necessarily um, gaining subscribers through giveaways, but it's just friends, you know, friends, people that like me that happen to like them as well, you know, like that. It's, it's organic growth and it, it's fun, you know, it's really fun to collaborate. So I watched you a lot. I watch YouTube a lot more during the pandemic. Once we back to real life, I had way less time to watch. Yeah, see, that's the thing. A lot of people went back to school, went back to work. Um, you know, they've got, they're watching their grandkids because their sons and daughters are back to work. You know, all that kind of stuff. So, anyway. Yes, beautiful Melanie. How are you, sweetheart? It's good to see you tonight. <clears throat> I'm just about ready to shut her down here. I've been on here for two hours, but I am so glad that you popped in. Maybe you can go back and watch the replay if you have time. I did a really nice skincare routine tonight along with uh, an unboxing. I did my Look Fantastic unboxing. And then I held a little giveaway, and uh, Karma's Thrifty at 50, she won tonight. This is her first time to, to win for me. I'm excited. Yeah, I agree, Ruth. Some more shorts will draw. new, And that's one good thing about the shorts is that they do draw new content, new, new people, new uh, subscribers to my channel. That's one good thing about the shorts. I've just been slacking. That's all. I just got really, you know, I was feeling a bit of a, um, like I just needed to slow down and kind of, you know, not push myself as hard, you know, through the holiday season. And now that the holidays are over and, you know, I'm kind of getting things, you know, back, you know. And once I get, once I get my, room cleaned out back there and get all that set up. That's really going to motivate me. I support the channels that support me first. Hmm. Do you do follow for follow over on Instagram as well, Karma? TikTok took off too, but I can't really get into it. People come back to longer content. I'm going to hopefully gain more subscribers once I get my lessons going. I have never set up a TikTok account. 
Lori, you do a fantastic job on your videos. You are very articulate, personable, and fabulous with makeup. You are why I watch. Thank you, Valerie. You are always so encouraging. I just really appreciate it. You know, it can be... YouTube is a, it's a lot of fun, but it can, it's, you know, it can be work. I mean, it's like a job, you know, it requires a lot of time and which is fine because I'm at that place in my life where I'm not working a public job anymore, you know, and I need something to do, especially when my husband's not home and, uh, you know, it's a, it's an outlet for me. It's a, it's a, not only a creative outlet, but it's an outlet for community as well, you know, and, and I, I benefit. And I'm hoping that I bring value to other people's lives as well, you know, not just with the makeup and the skincare, but, you know, with our relationships, you know, and how, how that um, dynamic works, you know, depending on what we have in common and all that kind of thing. If they take the time to watch me, then yes, I'll watch their content. I watch who I like. I know everyone is busy and I'm not offended if who I watch doesn't get around to watching me. We all have lives, but I know who leaves me comments. So I have um, <coughs> I used to watch a lot of big time YouTubers that I don't really, I, I'm still subscribed to them, but I don't really watch their channel anymore. They were the ones that, you know, 10 years ago, the YouTubers that actually started doing beauty channels were the ones that, you know, motivated me way back. I'm talking about people like um, Tati and Nikki Tutorials and, you know, people like that. So, all right, y'all, I'm going to go. I love y'all so much. I appreciate everybody stopping in tonight and yakking with me for a while and support me. Yeah, I love Allegra Chetty. She's awesome. <coughs> and y'all know Just Ann. She's got a recent collab um, this month with Slay Glam. And she did one last year about this time. Anyway, when Just Ann first started her channel, I was one of the first ones to subscribe to her. And, you know, we've been friends ever since. But, I mean, I don't watch her all the time. And she doesn't have time to watch me all the time either. She's got like 50,000 subscribers or something crazy like that. You know, and Allegra, Allegra's all, almost up to 100,000, I think. You know, and there's a bunch of people out there whose channels have just blown up, you know, and uh, it, it is, it can be discouraging to watch people pass you by, but, you know, we all grow at our own pace and we all bring something unique to the table, you know. So, you know, I just trust God with it all. I know that there's people out there that enjoy who I am and, and what I have to offer. Well, y'all have a blessed week. Stay warm. Stay warm. All right, y'all. I'm going to go. My dog is over here. She is so lonesome without me. So I don't want to take advantage of her. I was out of the house today for about three hours. And bless her heart, she just went berserk when I came in the house. You thought that I had forsaken her forever. <laughs> she cries when I take a shower. You can imagine what three hours did to her. Yep. I will. I'll kiss Sweet Pea. You're welcome, Karma. Congratulations again. So if you have, yeah, Melanie, all of you that have little 
chihuahuas, you know, little small dogs, you know how devoted they are. They're awesome. All right, y'all. I love you very much, and I will see you tomorrow for my Mask Monday video. Good night. Good night.